Hey, what's up, folks? This is Keith, and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Uh, today, I'm going to show you something or share something with you that's very common, a very common problem on a lot of vehicles. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've had customers come to me and say, Hey, my power steering went out, uh, my car's overheating now, and also my check engine light, my battery lights are on. What do you think is the problem? I'm going to show you the first thing you should check whenever you're having all those symptoms together even one or more of those symptoms. And this is it folks, it's your serpentine belt. Now this belt right here, it drives your alternator, drives your water pump, power steering, and your AC. And typically what happens is this belt will e either break or the belt will slip off for some reason. It goes without saying this belt isn't hasn't slipped off or broken. Um, if you have this problem, then you'll prob most likely see your belt laying down there somewhere, shredded or broken in half or just oily and uh, um, just a mess down there. And if you don't have that serpentine belt rotating the water pump, well, water's not going to be able to circulate through your engine and cool it down. Also, the way the alternator works is it works by spinning an electromagnet inside, creating electricity and recharging your battery. And if that's not happening, the battery is going to be depleted and it's going to cause low voltage, which will cause all kinds of codes, cause your check engine light to come on. Also, your power steering pump, same thing with it. it. It works by spinning. If it's not spinning, it's not working. AC, same thing. If it's not spinning, it's not working. So if the belt slipped or broke off, it's really important to find out why. And I'm going to show you a couple of very common things to check uh, for the reason why the belt may have broken or may have slipped off. Now, in my opinion, the number one cause of a belt slipping off is a bad tensioner. A lot of times what will happen is the tensioner will not uh, provide adequate tension to the belt. See how it's spring-loaded and it's keeping the belt taut? Uh, what you can do is take you a, a socket wrench, put it on there, and try to, try to, move, the, try to move the tensioner. And if it doesn't go down and, and immediately recoil once you let pressure off of it, that's a bad tensioner. Also, something else you want to look for, I'm going to take this belt off here. The tensioner pulley can actually go bad too. A lot of times this pulley will get excessive play in it. You could rock it back and forth and uh, it causes the belt to kind of wobble on it or causes the belt to not be lined up correctly and the belt can just slip right off. So that'd probably be the second thing to look for. That uh, the, the tensioner pulley or maybe even an idler pulley. There's not an idler pulley on this vehicle But uh, your idler pulley usually looks like your tensioner pulley, but it's mounted somewhere else and it's not really running anything So check that also um, Another common issue and it's kind of similar to the uh, tensioner pulley and the idler pulley the water pump your water pump can get uh, excessive play in it usually if a bearing goes out and the, the uh, pulleys wobbling around like that well, that belt's spinning, spinning on that uh, pulley, and it's spinning r rather quickly. And if that pulley sitting there wobbling around, that belt's going to eventually slip off. Um, also, if you're getting coolant on the belt, say your water pump is leaking or oil on the belt, maybe you have a, uh, a leaking front main seal and oil's getting on the belt, causing it to slip off. You know, things like that. Um, also, <clears throat> a bearing could actually be seized up. Like, for instance, uh, an alternator. Uh, I've not seen an alternator seize up very many times, but uh, your tensioner pulley and your idler pulley very well could seize up and not allow the belt to spin freely on it. Just take and rotate the pulley, make sure it rotates well. And I've seen it very common on AC compressors. Uh, sometimes the compressor will actually lock up and the pulley, let me show you. The pulley, well, that sounds kind of rough, don't it? Oh, that's the leaf. The pulley will actually spin freely, freely, but when the AC kicks on, if the compressor is locked up, then this pulley will quit rotating and it, it can burn the belt up. Usually you'll see a spot on the belt that had burnt through from where it was rubbing on that pulley. So check that also, and usually if, if um, your AC compressor is locked up, or this clutch right here would be kind of a rusty red looking color and uh, it, it may even be broken a little bit on the front there so check that make sure not only your pulley rotates but also that the clutch rotates too the clutch is on the front here rotate that 
power steering, make sure it's uh, lined up well. And make sure the pulley doesn't have too much play in it. And another thing that can cause the belt to slip off or maybe not rotate is a bad harmonic balancer. Um, your harmonic balancer, so it's got an inside part and outside part to it. And that uh, the inside and outside part are coupled together by a rubber dampener. And sometimes that rubber dampener can break and it will actually cause this pulley to wobble back and forth whenever the vehicle's running. You can just start the vehicle, watch your pulley, make sure it's nice and even, it's not, you know, fluttering back and forth like that. I've also seen it where uh, the, the engine will actually run and it's, the belt's not even moving. Uh, the, the belt's intact, it's on all the pulleys, but it's not rotating and the reason for that is that rubber uh, dampener between the inside part and the outside part of the harmonic balancer has broken all the way so the belts just sitting there the inside part of the, the uh, harmonic balancer is, is spinning but it's not spinning the outside it's just riding on that rubber that broken rubber and it's just spinning freely so check that also I've also seen it where the outside part of the harmonic balancer breaks free from the inside because that rubber broke free I've seen the uh, outside kind of ride out a little bit so the alignment of the belt is off. So this is trying to ride out, and then all these other pulleys are way back here, and it's throwing that belt alignment off, so it's wanting to slip off. So uh, check that too, and also check your belt alignment on the other pulleys, and make sure that they're all lined up correctly and, and uh, evenly. And if not, the belt will want to fly off. Okay, I know a lot of you are wondering, what are you talking about when it comes to belt alignment? Well, you see this belt here, it rides on one plane on all the pulleys and all the pulleys are on the same plane so the way you want to check your belt alignment you can do it visually and there's another way you can do it but just for uh, just for simplicity you can just look head on and look at your other pulleys and if you see your other pulleys jutted out just a little bit or jutted back and the belt is, is jutted out with it then you know that uh, something's out of alignment and you need to do some further investigation to see what's causing that. And of course, your belt can break just because it broke. Uh, you see this belt here, it has uh, some dry rot, some cracking to it. Uh, a lot of times if you don't maintain your belt, you don't keep track of it and watch it and uh, replace it whenever it looks like this or worse, the belt can actually just, uh, just break on its own. So uh, that may be the case in, on your vehicle. But uh, do check all that. Do make sure all that is uh, all that the, the stuff I mentioned is, is okay and kosher. And other than that, there's probably not a whole lot that will cause this. And I, I may have missed a couple of things, but you know that's just a, a few things you can check out yourself. A few simple things and uh, a few things that you can repair yourself. So yeah, that's usually my experience. Uh, the belt has fallen off or broken off or caused by one of those things. Uh, like I said, there may be some things that I may have missed, but uh, all in all, these are some simple things that you can check out, some simple things that you could fix on your own. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, feel free to give the video a like. Also, if you have any questions, comment below and uh, subscribe to my channel. And please see the description for more information about this and also some more safety information. And I also have some links in the description to some other videos that may help you out. Appreciate you guys watching.